late morning in rural Uganda. Hard-working men and women going about their chores as they have for centuries. But something is changing their lives and livelihoods as farmers. Extreme temperatures, rainfall and drought. In short, climate change. In 2010, Bududa district experienced a landslide disaster caused by deforestation and unusually high amounts of rainfall. Entire villages in the hillside were wiped out, along with schools and a health center, leading to the deaths of more than 350 people. The landslide hurt the family badly. Sam and Robina have gone from sustainable farming to just barely avoiding poverty. The landslide was one extraordinary effect of extreme weather conditions. Just as serious is the climate-induced change in seasons, witnessed by farmers all over Uganda. Their efforts to get back onto their feet are being challenged daily due to the changes in climate. Climate change affects women and men differently. Male farmers typically provide the income for the family by growing and selling cash crops. The women are expected to provide food and manage daily household chores. The burden on the women in rural areas has increased because of the extreme weather conditions. The distance the women walk to fetch firewood has also increased in recent years, as more trees are being felled than planted. Uh, 
Like in many rural households, Magret uses a three stone fire stove. She could use less firewood by building an energy saving stove. Saving firewood would cut down on her workload, but it would also lower the risk of mudslides in the area. Mudslides are often caused by deforestation. Not only does lack of firewood and clean water increase the burden on the family, it can have a direct negative effect on the family health, when garbage is burned in the stove and polluted water is used for drinking. Extreme weather conditions, such as heavier rainfall and prolonged dry spells, have occurred all over Uganda in recent years. In Nebi, the change in seasons is challenging the gender roles in the family. The division of money and labor in the family is being put to the test as living conditions worsen. Of two seasons of late, only one yields a harvest, and even this yield is poor and not enough to keep the family fed. John had to sell off half of his farmland to pay for bills and food. Now the food crops are more scarce than ever before. In a family with two wives, the first wife, Momiki, is now left to provide for herself and her children. <laughs> Momiki says there is a need for them to work together in order to solve the problems of food scarcity. We have different roles. Women it is survival. Men is more or less protection of what they have. But for us as women, it's survival. We must live the next day. You want to see your child live and grow. So that is where the difference is. But at the same time, it complements each other. In Katakwi district, unusual flooding was followed by extreme drought. This weather has had severe consequences for Dominique and Anna Grace. Akotobe ngotiara beruna sipo kal. Oya sinyamata lenyamati dwe. 
o si o mete due o yei bi bore pa piste ma da do ko pante de sarai borul ko ta la yoko na to nga yi ci na bala bo tenga ki nga ka ko an ko an ara e tenga ra ni ko yoko ko ma sate due pata ju la tana ta ngo no poto karwa lo bi ana lu nya ra ngo pata ju la tana ta ay ju la tana do go no bo bo ju la Buat tep, Abu e bulo no nyama e kam nyama tabla kurte ma anyo ne ma idola e rai kente ma nyama e mua go a chok e mua a kema e esa bu katia na ni togo e chie ma pola bu tia a rai ne kene kebi ya togo rai ma ne to bu tia so a bu ntero na e bulo ni Today, the family have no crops left to feed them. Due to the unpredictable weather patterns, the cassava has rotted in the ground, and new seedlings have dried out. Every day since the flooding, they have searched for means to survive, including cutting down their trees to sell. <laughs> Anna Grace occasionally works for other people and gets paid in maize. But today, she has no food to serve to the ten children living in the compound. It's a disaster. If nothing happens, disaster. Because we have started saying disaster anyway. So that's why we must do something. Otherwise, if we don't move to get the gender perspective into the issue they are handling, then things are going to continue business as usual. Because men will continue with their business as usual. Women will continue suffering in their, their core of looking for things that they cannot find. So we think it's very, very important that we bring the gender perspective in the issues of climate change. And this is the phenomenon that is going to be with us. So we've got to prepare even the future generation. Denmark is a key development partner in the area of climate change in Uganda. The effects on the families are receiving attention. The women and the children are most vulnerable to climate change and other issues that affect uh, food production negatively. But we also see uh, impacts on the family in, in general, because when um, resources are scarce and when there's not adequate food, you also tend to see more conflicts at the household level. And that's where we also see more violence against women and also abuse of uh, children. That's one part of the coin which obviously needs to be uh, mitigated and addressed. But it's not only the women and the children that are suffering. It's also oftentimes the males because they also feel that responsibility to provide for the families. So if they cannot provide 
And again, if there's no food on the table, it also affects them in terms of their feeling of uh, self-worth. In Tororo, these women endure the consequences of climate-induced poverty and violence. Beatrice and her three children were abandoned by her husband after the harvest failed. Rhoda and her husband took a loan to plant maize. When the harvest failed, the lenders came and took everything, from cattle to kitchenware and blankets. The husband became violent, so she left him to stay with her parents. Agnes's husband is frequently violent and takes the money that is needed to feed their four children. Florence and her ten children can barely survive from the poor harvests. Her husband goes to live in the city when there's no food at home. When he visits, he drinks alcohol and threatens her with the machete. Juliet has lived alone since her husband left her. He feels that she's not the housewife she's meant to be, providing food for him and the children. But she tries. Marapena first season a furo kenyo eno kanja bende jutie kenyo un kiri pinyikoro first season a furo kenyo tado chem para marapena tado mara rio mara dek benta ti moni din tado ya to chemo no to duma to kicha kongoke paka duma cha kongoke to koti bini to koti chua chua to duma no to kada kada malo to koke tiye to chemo no ti moni din. Tawacho ni Juliet's husband has taken her two oldest children with him. When he comes to visit, it ends in quarrels. Go wajara ne go Kenya ni uche mo akande linti e kara ne ne kote o kado kupino aripoluanyo ane na chifurug na mo uche mo man sano gono go konye uche mo man. Guma go uche mo ayeti akado go wajara ni aripopo kera gigo akago ripo mayan tindo. Aki yeti no go wash ran ngo chemo moro moro je mago report mun mago le nyewari an ko san tindo moro moro je kwanyo ko go le kwanyo ko tindo no je o wayan paka an ayet mago ni His alcohol consumption is only adding to their problems Still Juliet hopes that he will come to stay with her so that they can live as a family again but so far their attempts have failed
you know what had happened to men? They have become migrants. Because there isn't enough water, there isn't enough income, there is, they tend to run away and they come to the city. You leave your family because they want to come and work, simply because where you are working, it's no longer productive. The soils have gone dry, the rains are not there, you can't feed your animals, so they run away. And if how, in fact, we have more migrant in the form of men than women. So you find that the majority of women are down there suffering with their children and the men have run away. Men should know what is causing their migration and find a way of mitigating it. Other than running away from your home, what can you do at home to make sure that you stay with your family and protect it and survive? <laughs> In Naka Songola, Harriet is trying to make ends meet for the family. It consists of herself, her husband, and their five grandchildren. Emmere tu tujifuna weri na yate mvanga tewalizo nazi kazechi omusana kati nganzo omuchala nenda banga chinkosa abana ambawe mmere eteri ko mvantu fu kuvera wo emmere okuvula mu maka ensongeyo kintu kiba kibinyo dalala kubange emmere bwebula mu maka Amaka we gaba anga gaba dega tere de, mizo kwa anga mnyumia no muami, wababa wa kasera kwa museka seka na yemere we bate diwo, umicha toriba na kaseko eri muami, buri chuo muga mba akvogole da vogole zavera mukambu nyonyonyo. Harriet also wants to be able to share the workload equally with her husband. Abami bakola kitono abachala afetu kolenyo kubanga omuchala ngana kumenyedde kati nagolokose nyinzo okubanga amba na 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 olwalero mbadde na akatula mwedda Chicago asatu kunywa ko kuchayi atenenzira ku mulimu ogukuwata kati omwami yafu ne bisera na agenda keyo na anywa ko kutwenge Omuchale chisee choguto choto funa mamalo kuwata e nkuzi kulinze amazi tewali e mbuzo kusimbuliza e nte yaga lo kunywa amazi e nkoko zaga lo kunywa amazi habana kari kufumba buwe kuba anti kusoga mmeri katinga buwe tulimu chisee choku choku teleke mmeri yafi Orwe gula uenjuba angegenze saa kumine mwa teno dayo no so gemere. Kalo genda okulaba nguru naku. Gweto mchala uumula muka tono kulia buli na kunaba. Zisawa zo uumula. Pozi no kwe baka. Awo no uumula. Kati embere yote tuvaruji gumi kiliza. Hani kakati umuami ya gena na gamba na kuwasa. Ulino kukola. Kufanga haba ya jiwafe na waye vi, neva na wayo. Senteze nyingi. Kati ya chituwa alanti haba anga gwe ya gulo uchi. Kupuguzi na hata antuwa alanga mubezi. Harriet's husband did not follow the culture of paying a bride price for her, and they're able to sit down as partners and agree on the work that needs to be done in the family. However, her husband has a chronic illness that makes him unable to do as much hard work as is needed. So the majority of workload is still on her shoulders. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Kati, ngenda kujisigala konze ka. Awo jo jige jige nda kalu bembera yobu dao. Ege nda kunye giriza. Na ya tenga nino kumalako. In the mountains of Baduda, coffee is still being harvested, although not in the same quantity as earlier. Julius and Ida work together in as many ways as they can. training <laughs> Working well together also means living better together as a family. This in turn helps them to adapt to the new farming conditions. When the climate changes, you must change. This has been the lesson for Julius and Ida. They have acquired skills on how to save on firewood and adapt their farming practices to the new situation. So I have this kind of stove because it saves uh, fuel. As women, we came together and then we, we, we see that there was a need for each uh, housewife to have it because of uh, the saving uh, process of fuel. So we started it like that. Mm. And the, pro, the, 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 the most thing which made these people educate us about this, because we wanted to encroach the, the forest, they said, no, you don't go there. But when you have a raised fireplace or the stove, it can save the fuel more than uh, having uh, the other one, the single ones. <laughs> Who Catacamunan, 
mwaka kunyowa mwaka kolaganira atwera umusetsa no muhasi we hubanga mwaho wambagana mu decision making yenye so munyara mwahora mama mata Uganda right now has been progressive well in development and if we are going to continue, we really definitely must take care and intervene in the issues of climate change, especially gender mainstreaming, so that we can identify each one's role and what they can do to, to mitigate and also to adapt ourselves. And the and the lime kill was yam, a wee sham. I are under a lame was yam. Arishima Bahona Abi, Niba Sidisa. I've been in Hubanga Nikamatuli. I don't know what's a hoyetan. Havana Hori Hunyala Hua fighting about. I'm personally convinced that women can do much more if they are given the skills, if they are exposed, and if they are given the responsibility to take charge in issues of climate change because it's their life, it's life and death for them. It's life for their children. Whereas men, as I said, can migrate, the women are there to make sure that they survive and their children. So they have more at stake. And so for me, I'm convinced, and even my government, I believe, is convinced, we need to have more participation of women. Of course, alongside with our men. <laughs>